Hello humans, today I got a new Victorinox Swiss Army Knife, so I'm going to open it up and talk about this. First thing first, right off the bat, this is a significantly better packaging system than when I got my camper, camping. Why is it called? My Victorinox camper. Way, way, way better package. It's just a little cardboard box. Here's the knife and instructions. Is there anything interesting? It folds out like a roadmap, so that's incredibly not fun. Uh, oil it this... Okay, given my last Victorinox experience, this is way more than enough oil. Do not overlook tweezers and toothpick. This is walnut. It doesn't have tweezers and toothpick. You knew that it was walnut. It says on the box that it's walnut. Uh, anything else funny about this? Not really. Oh, teaches you how to use a can opener. That's pretty cool, I guess. Push? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Pushing is not the best way to do that. Just continuously cut up and down. So much easier. Uh, shows you where the wire stripper is, and the screwdriver, and the bottle opener. Alright, nothing too exciting. So the real reason why I got this and why I want to talk about this is why somebody would pick the Alox or Walnut Handled Swiss Army Knives over the plastic cellulo cellulose? cellulose, I don't remember how to pronounce it, versions, even though they definitely come with less features. So both of these are plastic. It's not not grippy, but it's not grippy. It's it feels like you're holding plastic, right? The Alox comes with texturing and the Walnut is wood and it actually, it's a little bit grabbier. Even this is significantly older, it's been scratched up a little bit, so it's got a little bit more traction to it. And I'm not entirely sure what type of material this one here is, but it's semi-textured, so it's actually got a fair amount of grip. But even in comparison to those two, this Walnut just feels more secure in the hand. This is the Victorinox Camping. Uh, it has a large blade, and yep, it is covered in oil, because of course it is. So, large blade, small blade, saw, I really like that. Like, these saws are so, so nice. Anyway, can opener, oh, you can see, you can see the oil. They just, they pour oil on these things. can opener and bottle opener with the wire stripper. I like that these things have a really, I gotta stop poking my fingers with the sharp teeth of the saw. I do like that they have a really strong half stop. It's really, really good when you're using these things as uh, screwdrivers rather than as bottle openers or wire strippers, because it gives you a lot, like it feels like a T-handle wrench a little bit. You can and twist. So that's what's got on the front. Two blades, saw, can opener and bottle opener, and then on the back it's got yeah, that one there's oh, okay, it's tough to get to because not everything's in put the saw out fully. It's much nicer. It's still really stiff though. So it's got the awl and the Phillips head screwdriver. It's a little stiff. It's about what you'd expect for a new slip joint. It's not too bad. I mean, in terms of like comfort, it's pretty much on par with any other Victorian ox. Oh man. There we go. The walnut scales I personally think are really good looking. It's got this burned in Victorian ox emblem shield on it. They're definitely well made. Um, overall, I mean, directly compare this to my camping. The only difference between the two really, actually, I think just straight up the only difference between the two is you get this um, Phillips head instead of a corkscrew. 
trying to think if personally I would rather have the corkscrew or the Phillips head. I cannot. I'd probably rather have the Phillips for everyday use. I get a lot more use out of a Phillips head than I would out of a corkscrew or even using it as like a knot on tire. I'm going to get more use out of this Phillips head. It's a nice full-sized Phillips. And I mean, I don't often come into situations where I need a Phillips head, but when I do, it's nice to have one on me. It's completely untextured. The great thing about natural products, and the reason why I personally went for the Walnut over the Alox or another Cellulote, is this is going to patina with time and use. The oils from your hands are going to wear it in a little bit, and it's going to become more natural and better feeling. Like, it's like any natural product, right? Think about an old pair of leather boots. It starts feeling better over time. You get more used to it, and it's quite nice eventually. That's sort of how I feel about any type of natural product. It wears in over time. It gets more and more comfortable to use. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen with this walnut. Um, but really and truly, the reason why you'd pick the walnut or the Alox over the cellulose is because you like it aesthetically. Otherwise, I mean, you're losing the tweezers. These are really nice tweezers. I actually do quite like these tweezers. You're losing the toothpick, which is fine. I don't have anything good or bad to say about it. It works as a toothpick. It works as a little pokey thing. There's not much else to it. Otherwise, you're getting all the same tools as whatever model you would ha normally have. So really and truly, like... Why bother with the walnut or the Alox? Aesthetics. It's as simple as that. Or maybe if you're into like collecting, but that's really and truly when you get down to it an aesthetics, an aesthetics thing as well. So, yeah, I mean, I can heavily recommend this knife if you'd like, if you like the look of walnut or natural wood. Otherwise, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Quite simply, like, I can't really comment on the knife itself. It's a Victorian ox. It's got a bunch of tools. They all work quite well. It's an entry level steel because it's a Victorian ox and all entry level steel. It sharpens up fine. It holds an edge fine. I mean, out of the box, I'm sure. It cuts things quite well. That's a sticker. This is receipt paper, so it's really thin and fidgety but like if it gets a bite it guts quite well into this stuff come on there we are yeah so if it'll get a bite it'll cut fine it's a big blade let's try the small blade i do truly believe that victorian ox has the best wood cutting blade like saw blade right now oh yeah same deal right if you can get that bite, which this paper doesn't want to give a bite. If you can get that bite, it cuts really well out of the box. It's perfectly sharp. I mean, it's a reasonable knife. At the end of the day, a Victorian Ox is a tool, more so than it is a knife or a pocket knife. It's designed to be a tool. It's designed to serve as a tool. And I like wood-handled tools because I find them more comfortable with more work, which is why I think that it's a good idea to get the walnut scaled versions. I think I'm going to get myself a Walnut SD for my keychain because it fits my aesthetic and I like Walnut natural product being on my person. Yeah, that's just sort of my thoughts on the Victorian Ox hiking Walnut. It's a solid knife. I think that if you like the look of Walnut, if you like the way that wood patinas to your hand, you should get a Walnut or other wood. I don't know if they make any other wood, but you should get a wood handled Victorian Ox, because it's a Victorian Ox, they're phenomenal tools, they're great to have on you, and then it'll wear in really nice. Stay safe and have fun out there, guys. Peace.